The Wall and the River A poem by Joshua Bond Four generations, friendly, side by side, our two families had farmed, with the old wall a place for meeting and shaking of hands, discussing harvests, the weather, a stall for the Christmas fair, plus old friends who'd died. The altercation came one fall, when cows of mine, just twenty or so, were found eating his grass, having crossed a broken spot where crumbled stones collapsed in a small mound, rolled down the slope to where the river flows. He banged hard on my door, smelling of drink, shouting obscenities, and with a curse I tracked it out to deal with all the mess, and slowly, to avoid things getting worse, mended the wall alone, with time to think. What demons lie in a man's gut and heart? Men's ancient charge to provide and protect, build homes, women and children first, fight wars, duty, leaving shell-shocked men, young lives wrecked, unless by chance they heal the damaged parts. After that, our conversations grew thin, a minor matter fouled what once had been an easy-going friendship. And war's pains? Manly seen as just another job, keen to get over it, a solution, gin. The boundary river, with natural length, oblivious to man's testy divides, provides water for the both of us still. While the wall, one-tenth as wide, might decide peace or war with an unreasonable strength.